All right, we have people coming over for uh, Christmas and we need to make some pies. So I'm probably gonna have a lot of pie recipes right one after another. I'm in my comfy clothes, I just got off work. My hair's a mess, I don't care. We need to make some pies. <laughs> so let's start with the first one, here we go. Okay, first we're gonna add eight ounces of cream cheese and we left this out on the counter so it'll be soft and you can use the block ones or the tub ones, it doesn't matter and you can have somebody lick the bowl. <laughs> and then we're gonna add one and one fourth cup of just regular white sugar. And we're gonna combine this using a hand mixer, you and your spatula or your KitchenAid or your stand mixer. Any way you can mix that together, that is just fine. And we're gonna take about a third of this and put it into a bowl because we're gonna um, make two different flavors to swirl together to make our dreamsicle cheesecake Kool-Aid pie. We're going to have a vanilla and an orange to swirl together. So it tastes just like those dreamsicle ice creams. So that third that we took out, we're going to add one teaspoon of vanilla and then we're going to mix that all together. And we're gonna add about a third of a tub of Cool Whip. And this will make like Dream Whip. You know, you buy those Dream Whip cheesecakes. This is basically all it is, is cream cheese, sugar, vanilla, and some Cool Whip. And so we've got our vanilla Dream Whip there. And now to the other, the two thirds that we left in the bowl, we're gonna add one whole packet of orange Kool-Aid. And you can actually do this with raspberry or grape or whatever flavor you want, but this uh, this one we're gonna make a dream sickle with the orange and the cream. And you just mix that with your, your mixer or stir it up. And then you're gonna use the rest of the tub of this Cool Whip and plop it in there. And you're gonna wanna fold this in so it stays nice and fluffy. So don't beat it with a mixer or stir it like a crazy person. Just kind of fold it over until it's all combined in the same color. All right, let's scoot that over and get our graham cracker crust. I almost said graham crapper. <laughs> and just put some blops in there. And you want to kind of leave some space so you can plop in the vanilla kind of in between. And we're going to put that in there. So you have orange, vanilla, orange, vanilla. And then just plop whatever you can around any thin spots. And then we're gonna take a butter knife and we're gonna kind of push the orange into the vanilla and the vanilla into the orange and just kind of make a cinnamon roll spiral. And then kind of uh, go from the inside to the outside. So you're just kind of pushing it and making it swirl into one another. So that way each piece of pie has the orange and has the vanilla in it. And that'll make it super yummy. And then we're gonna take a spatula and just smooth the top out to where it looks all flat and nice. And you're gonna wanna chill this pie for a couple of hours to firm it up. I left mine in there for 30 minutes and I couldn't resist and wanted a piece. So, uh, it, it'll firm up. <laughs> I got it out after a half an hour and this is how it looked. And it's got the orange and the vanilla. And this is so good. My, my husband even wanted a piece and he's not a big pie eater, but he said, Hey, when are we going to have pie? 